This video will demonstrate the honeycomb stitch square. I'm on my last square of honeycomb. Here is what it will look like. Can you see the honeycomb pattern in it? We start with picking up six loops in the six single crochet bind off stitches from the square below and connecting to the square adjacent with a return pass. And row one of the honeycomb stitch square starts with a TSS. And then we work a purl. To work a purl, you bring the yarn in front of the hook before you insert the hook into the vertical bar and then draw that loop through. And then we repeat those two stitches. So TSS, purl, yarn in front of hook before you make the stitch. TSS, purl, and then connect to the adjacent square with a return pass. Now row three, you need to alternate the stitches that you're doing. So that first stitch, you can see there is a TSS and see there is a purl stitch that has the yarn in front. So we do a purl directly on top of a TSS. So row three, we start with a purl yarn in front before we insert our hook through the loop. Then a TSS, then a purl, then a TSS, then a purl, and we finish with a TSS before we connect to the base. Return pass. Okay, so row four is a repeat of row two. So we start with a TSS into the TPS, then we do a purl TPS here. TSS, Pearl, TSS, Pearl, connect base, two rows left. I'm showing you the whole square because I want to show you the way that I do the bind off row here. Row five, we start with a TPS, TSS, TPS, TSS, TPS. TSS, connect a base. Eight loops on the hook. Just remember there's always eight loops on the hook at the end of the full pass. Okay, and row six starts with a TSS, TPS, TSS, TPS. TSS, TPS, connect to base, return pass. Okay, so I want to do the bind off uh, by inserting the hook as per the pattern. Um, and what this does is that it continues that pattern up into these loops here. It's um, It just looks better. So um, it's still a single crochet bind off, but we insert the hook in pattern. So I'm up to a purl here because this is a TSS. So yarn in front of hook first, insert my hook, yarn over with two, then yarn over, pull them off. That's the SC. So this is a TPS. So I'm going to insert as per TSS to make my SC. Now I need a purl, yarn in front first, pull that loop up, yarn over, pull through two, SC as per TSS, SC as per purl, SC as per TSS, and this slip stitch at the end. I've actually completed this row, so I'm um, just pull my yarn through. So I'm working continuously. I'm not cutting my yarn at all. So see, I've just made my loop really big and I've bought my ball of yarn through it and pulled it through. So I'll start the next row 
Okay.